Hey everybody, Blind Way back. I'm Eric. I'm Eric. And we're getting into some Q&As for Flash. Yes, we are. I'm excited. Uh, let's jump into a few questions that we've gotten from all of our viewers. Yep. Uh, first one is Matthias Badeschi. Badeschi. I didn't ruin that too much, but really good show, guys. I'm from Brazil and I follow you for one year. Amazing channel. Thank you very much. So I think Professor Stein is weak because he isn't with Ronnie. Ronnie is gone and both had that connection. So maybe Stein is weak. This is my thoughts. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for following us that long. That's awesome. Um, but, okay, so Stein kind of fell down at the end of The Last Flash, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And why is he weak? Is it because Ronnie's no longer there? Is it because of that? Is it because of breaches? Is it... Maybe. Um, I seem to remember there being some kind of, like, you know, what they call it, like, the Matrix is, like, their, their thing. The Firestorm Matrix. Okay. It has to have two people. So maybe it's because... Maybe that power that's within him, or whatever that metahuman power is, it Isn't requires two people. To like recharge it and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Now, I know that there's like comic book like lore behind this or something like that, which I personally don't know. And at this point, I'd prefer not to, so yeah. I don't get spoiled too much. Yeah. But, I understand that, because like watching like, yeah. Spider-Man that I know, whenever I watch the movies, I'm like, well, this is supposed to happen. Yeah. Well, this is supposed to happen. Yeah. It's better not to But from what I understand, the reason that he's kind of fallen, there's a, there's a part of the lore that's like this. So, okay. uh, so... And it has something to do with the fact that there's only one of them there. So maybe the power just can't be contained or handled correctly with only one person. That's possible. Yeah. You would. I would expect, like, if, like, half the battery got split up, half the power would go this way, half would go that way. Yeah. But maybe it's too much of, like, a positive charge yeah. or negative or something like that. But yeah. D. Sloan Media. Something's fishy, and here's why. Why is it the bad guys from Earth 2 have their powers, yet Flash 2 doesn't? Can anyone explain this? Um, yes, I think that I can. Because when I was re-watching this, and they were having that sequence of uh, Jay Garrick versus Zoom. Yeah. Zoom had, like, his hand on him, and there was, like, blue lightning traveling up Zoom's arm. And the, my theory is that he's actually stealing speed force. Okay. He's actually physically stealing his speed to become the fastest and the what he says what he wants to be the only one, right? Okay. I think that it's kind of like Jet Li, the one. I think one of our commenters actually kind of said that, mm -hmm. where like in the one, there were multiverses, and if one of one person died in the multiverse, then the other His ones energy split distribute everybody else. So one one guy killed every other member, yeah, right? So there was a hundred. Yeah. He killed like ninety eight of them. So it's kind of similar to that. Like there's only a certain amount of speed force to go around, and Zoom's killing everybody and taking their speed force from them. Okay. But, yeah. so he took Jake Garrick's Speed Force. Is there an Atom Smasher or a Sandman, Sand Demon in Earth 1? Well, we do know that there's a Sand Demon in Earth 1 because we saw him in the episode. Remember, they Joe saw him? No, we saw him. that person. It's like, there's a, there should be a Barry. Oh, like, there should okay. be a Barry in Jake yeah. Garrick's universe, yes. right? But he shouldn't be a He's Flash. He's not the Flash. Okay. So is there a Sand Demon? Because my one thought, like, if that's how it's supposed to be, there's... If there's Adam Smasher, maybe there's not an Adam Smasher here. Hmm. So he has the power. Okay. Or the Sand Demon, same thing. Maybe since the Flash came and there's already a Flash, he doesn't have his power. So like already the flash. event that gave them their power happened, but it could have happened to somebody else. Yeah. Um, with an infinite amount of universes, it could have happened to them infinite times and not happened to them infinite times. Mm -hmm. We just don't know. Yeah. There's no way of answering that question, really. So, uh, I don't know. Well, only way to know is we'll have to watch more episodes. And I, I guess that's I, the I would love to see them both have their speed force and be able to like fight Zoom yeah. together. Now, in, so in cool. season one, didn't Barry lose his speed and then they, they recreated the circumstances in which he got shocked by lightning and then he got his speed back? But that's not the same as losing the speed force, I think. So. Yeah. All right, Nick Morgan. I think Cisco is being an idiot. I mean, the one person that would be geeking out happy to have an ability would be him. But no. I mean, haven't they learned that keeping secrets doesn't work yeah now we kind of felt this way when we were watching i it. thought it was kind of weird was. i mean maybe he feels awkward because i mean a lot of it had to do with harrison wells i think we kind yeah. of discussed that a little bit before yeah but the fact that he has a power he loves all these other guys with powers he loves barry having a power i you know, know but he loves naming them it could also be a thing where like all these metahumans that have been caused because of this power seem to all be pretty bad guys mm -hmm. maybe he just doesn't want to be associated with that you maybe. know barry he got struck by lightning and the thing that caused him to go to the Flash. I mean, Oliver, he likes Oliver. He likes Black Canary. They're not metahumans, you know? Maybe he has a problem with the fact that he was created alongside everybody else, mm -hmm. all because of Harrison Wells. I don't know. I mean, I think that 
I think that he's right. I think that Cisco's character should be more excited about this. I do too. Yeah. I agree. Um, I believe it's I Breckio. Mm-hmm. Um, says in the show, Jay said that Zoom showed up around the same time that he did. He also said he doesn't completely know how he got his powers. And to top it all off, Zoom isn't a person. He is a demon. So if you think about it, if you think about what Patty said, that the powers that most metahumans get highlight the worst parts of who they are, and Jay is a hero. So maybe Jay was split into two bodies the Mm. day he got his powers. One remained Jay Garrick, the other being Jay's inner demons and darkness turned into Zoom. It's a very interesting theory. It's very comic booky. True. I don't know if I believe it. It's kind of like um, like Kami from Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> yeah. uh, and yeah. Superman from Superman too. <laughs> you know, uh, true, it's a true, it's true. a very comic trope idea. But I mean, the idea of him being a speed demon, I mean, that kind of works. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know if I I don't think I'd go for it as far as what the show would yeah. do. I mean, I could see it being a comic book, but I don't think even though this is a comic book TV show. I, for some reason, I don't see like them going. Yeah. Them going to be doing that in the TV show. Maybe just because like visually, having like one power and it split them into two, like good and bad yeah. halves. The metahumans seem to be based more in like science than it mm-hmm. does like mysticism, mm-hmm. which that seems more mystic, like more like the battle of good and evil versus like cold hard. Facts. On the on the other side of that too, if they are two halves of the same person, one being good, one being bad. Why does the bad one keep his powers when he comes to Earth One, where the good one does not? Well, he if the, my theory is correct that he stole the power. If he stole it, so if they were so he two, stole his own power. If they were two halves, and he took his power back and became faster and evil. Uh-huh. But he was already faster faster than the Flash before. He said, right? I think so. Then he yeah. took his powers, so now he's normal. And he's even faster than fast. I think so. I don't know, I don't know but we'll see. We have more questions. More about questions. That kind of stuff. Yes, Kashitij. Castige, Mah- Castige, Mahami, Mahami. Uh, do you guys think that Harrison Wells of Earth Two is good or evil? Well, my big thing is how come in all these infinite possibilities, Harrison Wells also works at Star Labs just like he did in Earth One. Well, there are an infinite amount of things that he did, and there's an infinite amount he did. I mean, I didn't see Caitlin, Caitlin giving the tour. You know? No. I didn't see, I didn't see Cisco there. Yeah. Like how I, similar I, I don't, are these? I don't know. I mean, but we. I just thought it was convenient. True, but I mean, if 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 it really is like set up with Earth One, and Earth Two, it would make sense that they're the two that are the most similar. Similar, like Earth One and Earth, you know, Infinity Plus One, would n- not be very similar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it makes sense that the ones that are being breached that are so close together are probably the most similar in terms of, like, Maybe everyone, humans evolved. Yeah, <laughs> you know? true. I like, Barry is still a forensic scientist, whatever, yeah. but he didn't get superpowers. Yeah. I mean, there's... Maybe his dad didn't go to jail, yeah. but... Um. I mean, there's an infinite amount of Earths in these realities that Earth was hit by a meteorite and isn't there anymore. True. You know what I'm saying? So what if... How convenient would it be if Reverse Flash came to back in time or whatever to do all that to try to take over Harrison Wells? Yeah. He had, had to do all that and try to trick Barry and whatnot. So thus, Harrison Wells was a speedster, but mm-hmm. he wasn't really Harrison Wells. He was Thawne. Aobard Thawne. What if Harrison Wells in Earth 2 is a speedster? or Just in general? Or is Zoom? You know what I mean? Is he Zoom? Like, what if he was like a speedster I, or Zoom or something along those lines? I can't see them... I can't see Harrison Wells being another secret bad guy in the same... You know, I can't see that happening. <laughs> but the question is, is he good or evil? Now, at the end, they kind of had that sinister... Hey kids, but that was like him talking to us, the audience, you know, n- n- more than those characters. Mm-hmm. I think that was a um, curveball. I, th- I I think that he might be the good Harrison Wells we saw be nice. with his girl. You know, I'd like to just see like the good Harrison Wells. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that actor. Yeah, oh, very much so. He's great. Now if he'll just come to Earth One and mentor. But he did say the only reason he took the role was because he was excited about being the Reverse Flash. So, will he stay on the show if he's not Reverse Flash? Don't we'll not. see. It's interesting. I love the character. Yeah. Brent Justice says that's twice now the Flash has killed a meta from Earth to... Wait, from another Earth or not. He has now killed twice in a row. I'm uncomfortable with it as well. I mean... It seems very different from last season. It last does. season they were all about capturing and putting them in those prisons. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now, I mean... If it were me in those situations and this person is going to kill somebody, mm-hmm. I have no problem with killing them because they, des- they deserve to do that. It's more vigilante. 
It's more Batman era. It's, it's more that, you know, everybody's having Flash Day parades and shit, and the police seem to be okay, and having Metahuman Task Force, not Flash Task Force. Yeah, but the, meta, the Task Force is only two people. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like, it seems like the, the police are kind of cool with Flash right now. But if he's killing people, they probably wouldn't. But as of right now, he's killing people that don't necessarily I mean, exist in that universe. Did they ask where these metahumans were going before? Eh, I guess not. I mean, the one guy was saying it just turned into a whole bunch of little frozen glass. Well, there was kind of like a scene between Joe and like a female commissioner about taking the, the law into your own hands and stuff like that, wasn't there? Yeah, that wasn't at the same time when they were trying to transport him and stuff and he was yes. trying to get an escort and yes, everything? Yes, exactly. So, yeah. And I suppose she was kind of like, well, do you know where these people are? And da, 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 mm -hmm. and yeah, so... But when it comes to, okay, so the first, Adam Smasher was killed in a big giant microwave. Yep. And uh, Sandman got sanded. He got lightning bolted into glass. Yeah. Now, I mean, it sounded like that was the only way that you could stop him, though, and he was going to kill that uh, new female mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. He put a bomb on her. Patty. Yeah, so it just seems weird that he did it back to back on this. I mean, mm -hmm. I was a little upset that he just killed Adam Smasher, but, like, how else were they going to stop him? I'm kind of upset that they killed the sand guy. How else are you going to stop him? I mean, that's what Jay Garrick said to do. And he seems to be a pretty alright guy. Shadow Raikou, what if Earth 2 Barry is Zoom? Ah, now this is an interesting theory. Where is Barry in Earth 2? With Eddie. Barry marries Iris, not you. Yeah, Barry and Eric, Eddie got together. They got together. I'd be happy with that. I'll ship those two. <laughs> <laughs> um, but is he Zoom? I mean... I don't know. That would be interesting. Uh, well, now we get back to what I was saying about like Harrison Wells was a speedster, and now mm -hmm. they brought him back, and now he's a Zoom. So yeah. now we're like, Barry was a speedster, so now in another universe, he's still a speedster. I mean, it would be cool if ultimately it's Flash versus Zoom, and it's Barry versus his alternate self. That would Barry be cool. Barry v. Barry. Now, we did have a Barry v. Barry last season with like that uh, every man. Yeah, we did. I'm just saying the cool thing about that is, well, one, when it comes to a production standpoint, you don't have to hire a new actor. You have the same actor work harder. Well, you still got to have someone as a stand-in from opposite shots. Of course. Too. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, like, in terms of, like, who is our character. Or I mean, you who... just hire someone who you can pay cheap. Yeah, I know, but that doesn't necessarily <laughs> make for compelling acting. <laughs> I'm just saying, Zoom, if he's a speed demon, he doesn't necessarily have any... You know, the cool thing about Wells is he made mistakes. He, he was egotistical, and he did fail, you know? If a speed demon with no face and... No identity and just wants to be a god. I mean, True. that's interesting as I mean, a as an antagonizing force, but not necessarily as a character. I mean, as bad as uh, Wells was as Reverse Flash, he still wasn't that evil. Yeah, you know what I mean, like he was a bad guy, but I wouldn't put him on the same like scale as like. I always, Zoom. I always thought like even though he's quote hated Barry, like why are you doing this? Because I hate you. I also felt like he had a great respect for Barry as mm -hmm. well. I don't think Zoom is going to have the same respect. I don't think so. Either. And it could, maybe, but maybe he will if it's actually his alternate ego. We'll see. Tokyo Ghoul, comma G. Okay. Did anyone notice the Batman reference when Earth One version of Sand Demon said he was locked up in Blackgate Prison, which is in Gotham? Yeah. Now Blackgate, like, there's Arkham Asylum, which is for the crazies, for Batman's Rogue Gallery, but for like the thugs and the normal criminals, they go to Blackgate. So. Mm -hmm. That's another little Batman Easter egg, and I call it an Easter egg because I don't think that we'll ever see a Batman in this universe. It's about, like, the Green Lantern stuff anymore. Well, the Green Lantern seems much more... I mean, we had... Wait, so that means in two Flash episodes back-to-back, -back, there's been a Batman reference. True. Uh, we also had, in the very first episode, we had uh, Luther Corp... Merges with Wayne or something like Wayne that. Wayne Enterprises or something like that, yeah. But, like or I, like I said, I said out or I think those are just like winks and Easter eggs versus like, hey, if you see this, it's it's coming up. I think the Hal Jordan Green Lantern thing and happening in Arrow and Flash last season and then again in Arrow this season, I think that might be leading up to something. It'd be nice if they did because there's not a whole lot of Green Lantern stuff no. out there. It'd be and nice to have something the, nice and strong. The movie, while it was, I don't, say, I don't say it's a bad movie, it just wasn't a good movie. It was an enjoyable little action comedy. But play. it's very forgettable. I can't remember, honestly, the plot. I don't remember who the bad guy was, really. It was the Some kind of big shadowy face Big or yellow goo. Yeah. Pent. Penna. Icky goo. Yeah. It was really compelling. But I did not notice the reference, but I, I'm... I'm yeah, I, I didn't I notice like, it. I like Easter But race. now that... Whenever I read that comment, I'm like, yeah, he did say Black Eight. Yeah. So. Yolo Toast. What do you think of the Zoom suit? <sighs> 
I mean, it looks threatening. Yeah. Intimidating. It just, I you, mean... You need to stop vibrating so I can see it more. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. It looks kind of weird. I, I don't know. I, it's hard to... Th- this, this is a black flash. We had a yellow flash. We have a red flash. I mean, it would be cool to have a villain that's not another flash. Like a main villain. I felt like bringing Zoom on now, and then I hear there's like rumors of more speedsters coming that we know from the comics. It's like, yeah, speedsters are cool, but, you know... It, it got, see, Eric wants to see more Grodd. That's what it comes down to. I definitely want to see more, more Grodd. Grodd. I'm just saying, like, in <laughs> Season 1, it was cool to see him fight the Dark Archer. Uh, in Season 1 of Arrow, it was cool to all, for Oliver to fight Merlin. Because he was the Dark Archer, and he was the Arrow, and they did that. And then they brought in Huntress, and then they brought on Cupid, and they brought all these other people with Arrows. And I'm like, alright, enough of the Arrows. Well, let's get Deathstroke. Let's, let's do Death Ross Stroke. al Ghul. Yeah, let's Ross, do Damian Ross Dark. Ross al Ghul still used Arrows? Not as... No, he used a sword. He, but he, he was killing people with arrows. He was, but just to, to mess with people. Right? He was just trying to act like the arrow. I I'm just saying, look, more diverse on your character. Zoom with his black suit. He still has a flash symbol. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe that's evidence that he is Barry or something connected to Wells. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. It, my first reaction to that was like, is this lazy? Like, just having a black flash now? I thought he was blue. Well, blue black, I don't know. Blue black. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. It's interesting. It's only two episodes in. I so gotta see more. For all we know, maybe Zoom only is like the halfway mark villain. That's true. You know, maybe maybe at this the little finale thing, whatever, it's no longer him and then they have that break and then we have a new villain at the end. Maybe he's working for uh Jay Garrett. No. Uh, Wells. Um the guy from Legend of Tomorrow. Vandal Savage. Maybe he's working for Vandal Savage. Maybe Damien Dark is, too. Yeah. That'd be interesting. I'd like to see that. Yeah. What would be cool is uh, if they swap shows and Zoom Ooh. goes into Arrow and Damien Dark comes into the Central City. That would be cool. You know? So they're like, hey, we need to swap out and do this. Yeah. Like, Ooh, that'd be that'd be interesting. That'd be cool. It would give yeah. it a new twist, right? Yeah. All righty. Leonardo Saad. Sad? Sad. 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 <laughs> Leonardo, do you believe they will introduce future versions of the characters by using the multiverse for example do you think a killer frost from another earth could be a villain but keeping our caitlin on the good side of Mm. things or maybe even showing a version of cisco that is a fully fledged vibe already using his powers to their full potential see i like that more i mean not for cisco but i like that more for caitlin because in our in one of our earlier uh talks about vibe yeah cisco being kind of like why don't you like your powers i i was going to say about Caitlin, I had a feeling that maybe they would do a Killer Frost from another time. Yeah. And I kind of hope they do that. Yeah, I would like to keep Caitlin around as she is. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would feel like if she went evil after losing Ronnie twice and all this other stuff, like, what will finally push her to become well, evil? It'd be cooler to have her as an alternate reality, Caitlin. If she had been, if she was still gone and no one could find her. And, like, that is what was going on right now. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, she's going to become Killer Frost. Yeah. But that she's back now after six months. And she's flirting. grieved. She's talking to Jay Garrick. Yeah. Enjoying his abs. Abs. So, I don't think, I don't, I don't think she's going to be Killer Frost. I really do yeah. think that's more likely an Earth 2 Caitlyn. I agree. So, yeah. now, is she working with Zoom? Is Zoom bring her in and like kill the Flash? Is she on Earth two? Is, Maybe yeah. Zoom finds out that Caitlyn is close is and then goes close to, to the find. Flash, and he goes and finds Killer Frost. And like, hey, no, that's no. that's a pretty good theory. I like that. It makes you also wonder, like, what's Oliver Queen like in Earth two? Hmm. You know, Maybe he's still stuck on the island. <laughs> that would suck. He's dead on the island. He just never got off. Yeah, huh? I mean, it sucks that he got off and got back on. Yeah, he's there now, he's still there. Uh, interesting. Uh, all right, last and then, question, uh, Sir Jora Mormont. Hmm. That's a nice name. Yeah. How's your arm doing? It would it would make sense that Jorah Mormont's asking about arms. It doesn't. He's got the <laughs> the thingies. That's true. Um, How's your arm? It's it's doing better. Uh, I actually ended up going getting X rays. They said there's nothing broken in it, so that was good. Uh, they basically have me on a steroid right now. Yeah. And as long as everything goes well, then it should get better. If not, they'll do MRIs. Awesome. So it feels a lot better. There's a few spots that it's tender, moving certain ways and stuff, but. Yeah. Doing Good. well, so thanks for asking. Mm-hmm. Thank you, and that's all of our questions. Yeah, and I just want to reiterate, make sure you guys are not putting spoilers down below. Spoilers mm-hmm. are a big no-no, 
It's more fun to speculate. So yes. put your speculations down below. Speculations from like what you know of comic books isn't so bad. Yeah. But if you're up there looking up everything online about what is coming, keep yeah. that out and you know be mindful of everyone else who's. It's one of the reasons we don't do the promos either, because I mean I know there was the New York sizzle reels and there's promos every week for next weekend, but we like to be surprised. Yeah. One of my biggest peas was when I watched Avengers and I knew that the Hulk hadn't caught Iron Man yet because I saw it in the trailer. Yeah, it just irked me that I had I wasn't worried about Iron Man going up in that big sky of Kree. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, Chathari. Chathari. Yeah, Kree is from Agents Shield, of Shield, which. Make sure to check out that Q&A because it's coming up soon. You yep. should see it this morning. So mm -hmm. until next time, make sure you guys do likes, comments, and I'm Aaron. I'm Eric. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. And damn, nope. God.